All right, perfect. Um, my name is Dylan Johns. I'm the city's uh, assistant project manager on this uh, Westcliff drainage and improvements and sanitary sewer project. Uh, Mike Bennett is our primary project manager. Uh, he's also on the call. Um, and we also have our contractor, Keegan Jonkers, um, on the call as well. Um, so I'm, I'm sure most of you uh, have heard this part of the presentation at this point, but to run through it for anyone um, who hasn't heard uh, about the background on this project, this is a combined uh, water, sanitary sewer, and stormwater project uh, in the Westcliff neighborhood. Um, the reason we're doing this project is because of frequent flooding and caused by undersized drainage pipes in the area. Um, there are undersized and aging uh, water pipes as well as sanitary sewer pipes in this area as well. So those are all being replaced as part of this project. And uh, this will be the final phase of the drainage por portion of this project. Um, there are gonna be future uh, water and sanitary sewer rehabilitation uh, projects in this area, but we're not gonna be going into those uh, during this presentation. Um, so I mentioned that this is the third phase uh, of this project. Um, highlighted in this exhibit, you can see uh, all three phases. Um, we are currently working on phase one, but this project was done a little bit backwards. So phases 2A and 2B have already been constructed. Um, they are in the ground complete. So once phase one uh, is finished, the whole system will be um, operational and updated. So um, to go through uh, some of the updates since we met with everyone a little over a year ago, um, we have finished construction on West Seminary Drive and Cherokee Trail. There was a uh, water pipe and sewer pipe replacement on both of those roads. Uh, the new pipe is in the ground and the roads have been repaved. So uh, we have no additional work planned on those streets with this project. Uh, currently our contractor is working along Trail Lake Drive and Manderley Place, uh, as well as in the Manderley Anita intersection. Um, they've been installing uh, storm drain box culverts. And right now they're working along Trail Lake on inlets, as well as just on the west side of Trail Lake between Windale Court and Encanto, working on the storm drain outfall. And we're also starting the process of rebuilding the roadway along Trail Lake um, uh, once the uh, concrete structures are finished. That, that'll be the next thing that they work on along Trail Lake. Um, now we have had to extend our closure of Trail Lake Drive. Um, we were initially planning to have it reopened in August and um, we've clearly missed that uh, deadline, however, and uh, we are planning to keep it closed to finish construction. Um, until January or February. Um, we experienced delays from having franchise utility conflicts. Um, there were additional water pipe installation uh, added to this project, as well as um, easements that the city uh, had to acquire uh, for the job that slowed us down a little bit. And uh, we'll be going into more information about those water pipes with the next slide. Um, the uh, in this exhibit, the streets that are highlighted in red are the streets that uh, were planned on this project from the beginning. Uh, the streets shown in blue are the new water line replacement that we will be doing. Um, the water line is going to be replaced on Windale Court, Sierra Court, as well as Trail Lake Drive uh, from Seminary all the way down to South Drive. Uh, the reason that this was added to the project is because the existing water pipe is cast iron and the city has a new um, priority uh, to replace uh, cast iron water pipe. Uh, the, cast iron, the old cast iron has led to several big water main breaks recently. And so that was not a priority. Uh, when this project was originally planned. So that has been added since construction started. Um, 
we're also planning to have this work completed by January or February. And um, we will be, uh, those roads will be passable. The portion of Trail Lake south of Seminary Drive will be passable to traffic uh, during construction. It will not be fully closed down the way the storm drain portion of Trail Lake is in between Seminary and Manderley Place. Um, but I'll be going into more information on that on a later slide. Um, we have also been working uh, with the community along Manderley Place uh, to get, we're gonna be installing a temporary roadway um, to help them access their homes as well as uh, the church that's at Manderley and Trail Lake uh, have access to their facilities as well. Uh, this temporary roadway is gonna be installed as soon as we can get it in place and will be left there um, until we come back to rebuild or until Manderley is rebuilt and fully repaved. Uh, and that'll happen once we move off of Manderley and onto Anita and Suffolk. Um, as far as impacts uh, for traffic, the Trail Lake Drive detour is gonna be remaining in place until Trail Lake is reopened. Um, for the new water pipe construction on Windale, Sierra, and Trail Lake, uh, there are quite a few you know, homes along Windale and Sierra, and some of those driveways will be temporarily impacted during construction. Um, because the water pipe is being installed in the roadway, we're gonna have to cross the driveways to get the new pipe in the ground. Uh, we will be working with residents. They'll be notified in advance of any impact to their driveway or before we cross their driveway. So that way, if anybody needs to plan ahead to have their car, you know, move their car down the street so they're not blocked in, you'll have the opportunity to do so before um, your driveway is uh, cut off. But um, we will be providing access to, for residents to be able to get back in their home or get back into their driveways at the end of the working day. These will be temporary closures uh, that will just be while workers are on site. And um, the portion of Trail Lake that's gonna be under construction uh, between Seminary and South Drive, uh, the construction is gonna be timed on that portion of the road so that uh, the buses for Westcliff Elementary School will still be able to get through. Uh, we know that the bus stops to pick up and drop off kids is at Clay and Seminary and those buses turn off of Trail Lake. And so we will be uh, timing the work so that those buses can get through in the mornings and the afternoons without issue. Um, we'll also be opening uh, that portion of Trail Lake Drive at the end of each working day when the crews move off site. It will not be um, shut down to traffic uh, fully like uh, Trail Lake is between Manderley and Seminary. Um, so our detour has shifted a little bit since we met with y'all or met with everybody last year. Uh, last year, we were directing traffic down in Nita because of how much construction has progressed. Um, the intersection of Manderley and Anita is impacted and not passable right now. So we are directing cars from Trail Lake down Suffolk Drive to Carolyn Road where you can then turn and go down Carolyn to South Drive or uh, Granberry Road if you would like to continue on Suffolk or turn on to Granberry from Carolyn. Um, but that is our current detour route. As a reminder to everyone, please drive safely on the neighborhood streets. We've put up temporary speed limit signs um, to remind drivers of what the speed limit is out there. and. Um, so please drive safely while you're around. This is a heavily, uh, or these streets are heavily used by pedestrians. Um, and whoever that is, please uh, mute yourself to fix the echo. Thank you. And um, I, so the last point on this was, uh, I already mentioned Trail Lake between Seminary Drive and South Drive will be open outside of working hours. Um, that one, that road will um, only have major impacts while crews are on site working. Um, our 
contractor on this project is Circle C Construction Company. Uh, Brian McGill is our city inspector. I mentioned at the beginning of this meeting that the recording uh, will be posted on the city's project webpage, and that is the link to the webpage. Um, you can also find, uh, if you don't have that URL, you know, available or anything, you can Google City of Fort Worth Capital Projects, and it's generally the first link that pops up will take you to the city's website on the Capital Projects page where you can search for Westcliff or Westcliff Drainage, um, you know, any of those keywords will uh, pull up these project web pages for you, which will have uh, updates as we progress through construction and uh, meeting recordings and everything like that will be posted there as well. Um, so that is the contact information for everybody that I've mentioned, uh, Mike Bennett, as well as myself, uh, Dylan Johns, and uh, Brian and Keegan's cell phone numbers. If anybody has any questions, uh, concerns, comments on the project, if anything comes up, um, you know, over the next uh, year while we're out there working, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. We're happy to help answer any questions, um, anything like that. So uh, with that, I will um, Dylan, open we things have, up for questions. We have a question in the chat let's hit from Mr. Nixon. He says, for those of us on Manderley Place, Will the storage of materials and excavation material remain in front of our houses throughout the entire construction phase? And if so, how long is that to get Anita and so forth? I, I do expect as we are, as we progress onto Anita and Suffolk, the storage of materials uh, will have to progress with construction. Um, where we're, However, I believe Keegan is on the call. Keegan, can you speak more on the details of what that's gonna look like? Yes, we are going to continue storing a lot of material on Anita um, because we've got the, the large box there that we're gonna pour and we have to backfill. And that's part of the reason why we're building this temporary road to get y'all in and out of your homes um, on an asphalt surface rather than a gravel road. But seeing that Anita has, um, driveways on one side of the, I mean, not Anita, uh, Manderley has driveways on one side of the street and not on the other. It lends us to a really good storage place to keep material where it doesn't impact um, both sides of the street. So it will be for quite a while longer, probably, um, probably until um, spring or early summer at least. So we see another question in the chat. Uh, let's see, this is just a comment. Good work on replacing water lines as part of this project to get all this done in a phase. We had many water line breaks over the years, not just during freezes. And yeah, that the water department is aware of that. That's one of the reasons we're looking to get rid of all these cast iron pipes in the ground. So we're this project just happened to pick up some of those. Next one, let me see, what's the remaining scope of work left to complete on the closed portion of Trail Lake? Keegan, do you? Yes, I can take it. I didn't know if you were gonna take it. Um, on Trail Lake, what we have left is um, on the, the water side, we have to replace the water line, basically from Wendale Court through South Drive. Um, this will include uh, approximately 800 to 1,000 feet of 12-inch water line to be replaced. Um, it'll have a fire line that's dedicated for the school that we're going to reconnect. We're also going to reconnect to West Seminary, and then we're going to lay water down uh, Wendell Court and Sierra Court and replacing all the cast iron and all the services. Uh, temporary road patch will be made over that, um, that water line and any curb and gutter that is damaged will be uh, replaced as well as sidewalk drive approaches. Then we continue with our, um, our storm drain inlets. We have three inlets um, that have the tops that need to still be poured. Um, those will be completed in the next few weeks. We also have to replace all of the missing curb and gutter 
along the east side of Trail Lake from um, basically Wendale Court through Manderley. Once all this is completed, we will be able to um, start our reconstruction of the asphalt street. Uh, and we'll also be working at the same time on completing the outfall of the storm drain, which is between Encanto and Wendale. Thank you, King. And I was, I was gonna mention that outfall too, but I see you got it. All right, uh, what's the next question? Another question in the chat, when will construction start on Suffolk Drive and Anita Drive? So I think, King, you'd be best to answer that too. Due to the large footprint that we have right now on uh, Trail Lake and Manderley, we need to get Trail Lake all the way open to, to traffic and a good portion of Manderley cleaned up so that um, everyone's not as, as dusty. Then we can pour that um, structure that is at Anita and Manderley, backfill the structure and get the road opened for um, traffic to pass down Anita and onto Manderley. Then we'll continue with our box installation heading north on Anita and then turning east on Suffolk. All right, We've got another question in the chat. It says, can you give us the projected completion date? I just heard summer of 2024. And I just wanna make sure it's clear on this. There's a difference between the actual completion date of the project and opening of Trail Lake Drive. Um, there is, we've got to take the storm drain all the way up to Granbury there on Suffolk. So it, that, that's why, you know, it's not just, tra we're not keeping Trail Lake shut down until the summer. There's more to go in the storm drain. So Keegan, could you answer as far as when you're projecting the, getting to Granbury and kind of having it wrapped up? Wrapped up, we'd like to have the storm drain laid up to Granbury by the summer of 24, yes. There's still gonna be all of the water lines that have to be done along um, Suffolk, the curb and gutter that has to be done, the pulverization, that stuff's gonna go out until probably the fall of next year. Okay, another question. Teams, okay. This is from this comment from uh, Miss Ingram, our uh, communication expert for us. Thanks, boy. Thank you, sir. We work collaboratively with our water department teams. Yes, we try and work with everybody. Um, let's we'll see. It's from Mr. Nixon. Will you build new curb and gutter plus storm inlets in Manderley before the temporary asphalt lane or wait until the end of the project when I assume final paving will be complete? Keegan, you wanna? Originally, our plan was Are we losing Keegan? I'm here, sorry, I, someone called me. I was, okay. had to end, end it. Um, originally, we were gonna leave the gravel road and then build Mandalay the same way that we're building Trail Lake, um, but we've decided to put this temporary road in as soon as I can get a, a subcontractor over there to, to install this 15 foot wide asphalt road. And we will build the uh, curb and gutter and drive approaches with this temporary road in place and then take out the temporary road and repave everything as we are doing um, Trail Lake. All right, thank you, sir. Let me see another comment here. Just FYI, I have heard complaints from neighbors on curb and turf damage from staging drain boxes and right away on curbs. I'm sure there is a plan to repair, but maybe some door hangers might help. Yes, anything that's damaged, we will be replacing that includes grass. So there will that'll be something we go through and definitely look to pick up in final inspection is to make sure that we've that we've caught everything. Just one thing to note, it's an older neighborhood. This is primarily a storm drain and water department project. So we are not this is not a rehab of every uh curb and gutter in the neighborhood. I just want to make sure that's known. If we damage it we we are to fix it. 
That's absolute. Um, and there are there will be other smart small places along the way. The curb and gutter is part of the storm drain, making sure it's functional. If there's something that's really broken bad to help the storm drain work, we will fix that as well. But this is not uh, a rehab of all the whole neighborhood curb curb and gutter. So there, okay, Charles, just a note to Keegan, your construction crews have been excellent and done, gone out of their way to help us along manually. Thank you, Mr. Nixon. It's great to hear that. I know this is very painful for a lot of, lot of people and it's been a very long time now. We understand and respect that too. So I'm glad to hear that the contractor is doing the best that he can. Yes, there, thank you very much. I'll pass it on to the guys. So are there, we've got a couple call in users. Um, I have muted you. It looks like we've got some that may be unmute. Um, if you guys have any questions uh, that have not been asked yet, please feel free to unmute yourself. And I think I've actually unmuted, I think the only caller I've got unmuted. See. This is Mark Meadows. You hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, please. Oh, good. I'm president of Westcliff West. So, uh, yeah, we're just, I'm just on here. You said this presentation is going to be available so we can Google it and find it. Absolutely. So I can send people to it. Okay. Absolutely. Yes, sir. It um, actually, one of the places you, if you want to write that down, but I can also tell you we have these, and I want to say, Laura, we, we should be posting these on our uh, the project page. Yes, sir. I can make that easy for everyone. I do believe that I will have your emails tonight from you joining the recording. If you didn't put it, maybe not, but I'm going to put my email in the chat. Um, and then we will post this recording onto the project webpage. So if you just go to fortworthtexas.gov, and either type in um, Westcliff, it should pop up for you because I tag them on the back end. But I will also email you if you'd like, and I'll put my email now in the chat. Perfect. Perfect. That works. And Mike, I'm, I'm a PE also. So if you see my my car with a PE license, I've got the only one in in the Texas. Oh, is that right? That's not. Nice. <laughs> it's just PE on the on the license plate. Yeah, that's funny. Awesome, awesome. Well, we do. I do want to just got to say I, I do appreciate. We all appreciate how respectful this community has been. We know this is a very very challenging project. It is one of the larger storm drain projects we've actually done as far as the flood mitigation helping uh residents out i know some of you guys have seen the boxes out there so i think that may help out having you guys see the the massive structures that we are putting in the ground but uh just again even when you guys are bringing your concerns and stuff like that it's just been so extremely respectful we appreciate you guys for that so uh thank you and please continue to bring us questions and your concerns as you have them uh, looks like I've got another thing in the chat here. Would it be possible to slow down the traffic on Carolyn Road as well? It's extremely drain dangerous walking there now because of all the rerouted traffic and we have no sidewalks. Um, we will look, we'll absolutely look into that. Dylan, please, uh, let's add that to the notes as far as looking at Carolyn and central uh, speed limit signs to help. So and what I'm hearing that, that you're going to be working on trail leg uh almost all year next year right no, no no sir not not on trail leg no it's, it's okay we're looking to get that open january or february okay awesome all right I, and i know they're going to be asking me about the, the the parade availability and stuff so that yeah that's um that's anyway. yes that's uh something that we we were uh we've been brought aware made, made aware of and so <laughs> yeah. That that is the pressure to get get it fully open prior to the the yeah, marathon. Awesome. 
Do we have a, a marathon no, too? Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, we've got a Fourth of July parade that comes through there. But uh, anyway, that that works. That, that's good. It it looks like we missed a question earlier yeah. in the chat about uh, what is happening on a small segment of Porto on the map. Um, so pull up that exhibit. Uh, that is going to be a trenchless sewer rehabilitation. Um, I don't remember the exact method off the top of my head. Keegan, do you happen to remember it? I, all I remember is that it's by other than yes. open cut. Yes, this is going to be a, um, it's about four short sewer lines that are going to be replaced using pipe bursting. And we will be um, probably starting to get this area ready in about two weeks and maybe move in in somewhere between three and four weeks. The construction overall to replace these four lines should take maybe four weeks to complete. Okay, and you will need a little bit of access to people's backyards to dig down to reconnect their <clears throat> services to the line, correct? Yes, manholes we replaced, sewer service connections we replaced. Um, uh, it, is, it is called trenchless because we're not trenching down like we do Trail Lake, but there are still holes that need to be dug and, and um, excavations made for the, the reconnects. Everything that is disturbed will be put back to as it is or better. I'll be making a video of everyone's properties before any of our guys enter your lots and also passing out notices. It'll have um, Brian's contact information as well as mine, same as this presentation. And if you've got any problems with uh, anything during the construction, just call me and I'll come take care of it. Oh, we've got a couple more uh, comments here in the chat. Mr. Dixon seconding the, the dangerousness of Carolyn Road. So again, was something we need to look into, Dylan. Also, we've got another one here. I watched drivers at Ignore the Road Close sign at Seminary heading north on Trail Lake. Lots of drivers for you guys have to stop, work, turn around, no outlet sign. At Serenity, somebody might help. I, I Unfortunately, I, these drivers that are going through there, they're just bound and determined to go where they want to go. Um, so we're, we're aware of it. We're trying to let them know that they can't get out, but that's not really sure. The road closed sign, it should kind of just tell you that it's, it, it's, <laughs> it's just flat out closed. Well, that's good. That's a good, interesting thing. I'll have to think about that. No outlet. So, are there any additional uh, questions? Any followers that want to unmute? Okay, on Corto section, will backyard fencing be removed? Some fencing may need to be removed. Um, we do try and keep this to a minimum because we have to put your fences back up. So if it has to come down, it's because we have to, to reach some sort of uh, issue that's below ground and the fence is in the way. It'll be put back up, back the same as, same or better condition. Yes, and if uh, we have to leave it down for a portion of the project and you have dogs, we can chain, we can section off parts of the yard with chain link or orange fence or Whatever preference you have, we have all sorts of options on temporary fencing for our construction to be done. We have another question that came in right before that. Any info on the plan to manage fire department egress throughout through the project? We are we coordinate with our uh, our traffic management team that they are the ones that provide the street use permits, and through that we do work with uh, fire and e emergency services. So it's, they're all aware and we keep them informed as progress goes of the, of the project. Mm. 
Any more questions? Any callers that would like to speak up? When does work in front of the school on Trail Lake start? That's starting now, isn't it, Keegan? Or just about? Yes, we connected to our um, pipe that we laid over the summer in Trail Lake today, and we started laying pipe toward uh, Wendale and West Seminary today, and we'll continue it tomorrow, and we'll, we'll get through it as fast as we possibly can. All right. I, I, I kind of feel like I need to give a little bit of pause because it feels like we've got a very active community tonight. And so I don't want to cut anybody off short. Um, of course, you do have our contact information. So if, if you do have, weren't able to, if you come up with a question later or, or we just cut you off too soon, please, please reach out because our goal is to keep everybody informed um, with the project. Thank you, Mike. You guys and your team do a great job. This is Laura. I did see that two people joined back. Mr. Nixon was on, but then a second person. So you may want to reach them again if they might have questions. Okay. Um, yes, we're, if anybody has any questions that has just joined on, Okay. Well, I think if it's kind of drawing to a close here, we'll go ahead and stop the recording. But uh, please, anybody, uh, reach out because we are again. This is this is a challenging one, and we we know we're continuing to take up a lot of the right away with the with the boxes that we have out there. So I know we're going to try and get those all on the ground as quickly as we can. But thanks, everybody, for your patience with us, and uh, we will see you soon, I'm sure. This is Laura. I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you, ma'am.